Hey, hello writers! Um, so it's Friday and I have to look at my sheet to see what I'm going to talk about. It's my computer, it's there. Yeah. Um, okay, so a thing I wanted for Christmas but never got. I'm not sure. Uh, I really tried to think about this but I don't remember. I guess my head has kind of shut it out as it does with a lot of bad memories or embarrassing moments. So what do you want for Christmas? Well, I want a travel backpack for Christmas. And if you watch my personal channel, you might have seen that I've already actually bought it. It's there on the floor. But since I'm going to travel in February, um, I really need it um, because if you have the mountain backpack and send it uh, the airplanes won't take it unless you ship it as special, special baggage or something like that and yeah this one can sip away all the um, carrying systems and that kind of stuff um, so since I had a voucher is that what they call it? I think so um, for one of the travel stores in Oslo um, that was about to expire. I went and bought it and some other stuff and then um, I don't know about it kind of. Well, I, that's what I'm getting for Christmas, so yeah. Um, real free or not? Real. Um, that is one of the best things about Christmas, I think. Going with my family, picking out a nice tree and also smell the smell when you take it inside and we actually, the tradition here is to put it up and decorate it on the day before Christmas so on the 23rd and it's actually quite late because then you don't get to look at the tree that much um, but it will typically, typically be inside uh, for 13 days after Christmas and then you have to throw it out but yeah I agree that it's it's a real mess and you have to vacuum all the time and if you have a dog like me um, that has a tail that wags quite frequently um, it gets even worse and also the pine needles get into her fur and she just transfers them all around the house uh, but even though I love the smell and it wouldn't be the same with a fake one. Um, they had a fake one when I was in England and I guess it's nice but I really miss the smell. But yeah, real trees. That's one of the things that is Christmas for me. Oh by the way, uh, I live in Norway so obviously we get snow. Uh, we have snow now. It's dark outside so you can't see. But if you watch my, my personal channel I do vlogmas so every vlogging every day until Christmas, uh, then you know I'm excited about snow a bit too much, maybe. And yeah, um, I pro how I pronounce my name. I also made a video about it, I'll put the link in the doobly-doo, but it's basically pronounced Sinne. Sinne. And I know it's difficult, um, not many people that are not Norwegian know how to say it and I'm totally fine with that. I've lived one year with um, a lot of different varieties in England, so it's okay. Um, yeah, and we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve uh, or on the evening the 24th. So um, that's when we have a big dinner, that's when we open presents and that's kind of the big day. I know it's different from the US at least, but in my family we have um, celebrated with one side of the family at uh, Christmas Eve and then the next day we do the whole thing once over with the other side of the family and then we switch each year so every other year it's with my mother's side of the family on the 24th and so on. Um, so I was re always really happy about that when I was little because it meant I got two Christmases. And one thing I need to do every Christmas is watch one of the films that air every year on the 24th. And it's called Reisen til Julstjernen. And it's really a Christmas story. 
Uh, so I need to do that every year. I've done it as long as I can remember, so that's Christmas for me. We also actually have skipped Christmas two times. Once when we went to Eilat in Israel and once, which was last year, when we went to Egypt. And as much as I love Christmas, I don't mind that because both times it has been an amazing experience and I've gotten so much out of those two trips and I would never have been without those. Um, those times and the trip would also be the present we got for Christmas, which is totally understandable. It was a bit weird every time when you were thinking about it, you wouldn't eat uh, Christmas food or anything because Egypt and Israel doesn't celebrate it, do they? Not where we were, anyway. They actually had Hanukkah um, in Eilat when we were there, so there were, was a kind of festive atmosphere, but yeah. That's it for now, I guess. Uh, I want to know, uh, what about holidays? Uh, do you get time off from school and work? For Christmas, here in Norway, we usually get around two weeks off from school and um, the 24th and the 25th, I think. I'm not quite sure, but those are public holidays, so you also get off from work, but normally people take until um, 6th of January or something like that off. So you have a week with family and that kind of stuff. And we usually go cross-country skiing a lot during that time, so that's something I'm looking forward to. So I guess I'll see you in a week.